Hello, I'm Dr. Rajkumar, consultant pulmonologist. I'm specialized in treating and managing COPD, bronchial asthma, pneumonia, tuberculosis, and respiratory infections, which include COVID infections and other respiratory diseases. Today, I'll be explaining about COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is very important uh, for us to know about the COPD because this is the uh, third most leading cause of the death for the people who are under the age of 70 years. If we go into the statistics, there are 3.67 million of people who have died in 2019 because of COPD. So with this, we will know the severity of the COPD and the importance to know about the disease in detail. What is COPD? If we go by the definition COPD, it's chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So it is basically a disease which is involving your small airways which will gradually narrow the air passage which will make it difficult for the air go in and to come out of your lungs. We go into the symptoms of COPD. Uh, symptoms of COPD basically can vary from uh, breathlessness which is difficulty in breathing can uh, be as simple as a chronic cough which will be sometimes dry cough and in most of the cases it will be associated with the phlegm production. So if we uh, go into the causes for the COPD, the most leading cause for COPD is smoking uh, which is topmost in the list, smoking. Next comes to the chronic exposure to the dust which could be the uh, household dust and you know environmental pollution. Second thing could be the workplace exposure like coal mine workers who have been working in the coal mines who have been exposed to the lot of dust and then if you go into the, the industry, painting, you know people who have been exposed to the uh, uh, sprays, paints and you know uh, smoking. In Indian population if you look into the female population in back age who are exposed to the uh, household uh, smoke not in the form of uh, cigarette but in the form of cooking through the biogas uh, fuel. to the diagnosis of COPD, uh, diagnosis of COPD basically start from the symptoms uh, which as I told uh, breathlessness, cough with a, a phlegm and then chest tightness, chest pain and then we have uh, certain modalities to diagnose which include the blood count, basic uh, complete blood count and then we need a chest x-ray and then we have a spirometry which is a basic pulmonary function test. Most common question people uh, ask is what is the difference between uh, COPD and bronchial asthma. So we go into the symptoms as I told both the symptoms start with the breathlessness, have a cough with the production of phlegm but if you deeply look into the symptoms uh, in asthma these symptoms are seasonal where the patient have symptoms when there is a particular season when he is exposed to certain uh, allergens. Whereas if we see the patient with COPD, the symptoms are persistent and which are gradually progressing. Going into the myths, uh, the first myth I want to break is uh, COPD happens only in the smoker. So as we go back in and see there are so many causative agents starting from the smoking to the air pollution, to the workplace exposure and then going into the uh, household dust also and then biomass fuel exposure. So smoking is the only cause for uh, COPD, it's a myth. There's one more thing uh, we have to get a clarity, uh, having COPD it will limit, to, uh, limit us to a certain extent but exercise will make us uh, function better. So uh, with the proper treatment and with the proper medication, this is also one more myth that there is a proper treatment uh, provided that you uh, find the proper uh, diagnosis first because as COPD it varies from uh, mild to severe. So first thing you have to properly diagnose yourself, you are fitting into which category of COPD. So once you have been started with the proper medications, there is a proper treatment for COPD. Uh, smoking tops the table being the cause for the COPD, so it is not advisable to smoke when you are on the medications. Basic precautions if we go, first thing is to quit smoking and uh, even we have to avoid the second hand smoking also. Uh, second thing is uh, to look, maintain your weight, overweight can also aggravate the COPD and then second, uh, third thing is regular exercise to keep ourselves fit. Uh, it's always better to consult a doctor before uh, self-treating yourself and self-diagnosing yourself. Thank you.